Hi everyone, go to Luke here. I haven't shared for a while and uh, actually I've been busy and uh, right now I'm going to share a new project that I'm working on presently and it'll be a video done in many stages. Uh, this is kind of a different uh, kind of uh, uh, work that I'm doing right now. It's actually something for myself that I'm building and uh, what it is is a uh, houseboat that uh, will be used as my permanent home and uh, it's going to be a very high efficiency uh, kind of design. So the houseboat will be mostly, uh, the structure will be mostly urethane foam and that'll be about uh, I would say 85 to 90 percent of the uh, structure will be uh, made of urethane foam and I've purchased uh, some used urethane foam and these are some that you see inside a garage here that I've rented to start the work and uh, that pile there is about eight feet high uh, what it is it's three inch thick foam and uh, I've uh, made a table saw here uh, of my own design to do all the cutting uh, that's a miter saw that I've mounted inside here 12 inch blade so I can cut through that 3 inch pretty easily and I made a fence over there that I can adjust to different sizes uh, this is uh, some uh, composite wood uh, also known as aspenite that's half inch thick that's uh, 8 inches uh, beam so it's all basically beams across there's the uh, structure underneath there so there are 4 of these 16 inches apart and uh, everything is made so that we've got a perfectly straight uh, working surface here. Everything's leveled and uh, supported equally. So when we'll use these pressure, uh, these tables under pressure, um, we'll be able to maintain straight lines and things like that. And you'll see as I build this stuff uh, how it'll all work. I'm not going to cover this all in this uh, small video here. This is just an introductory for those who are interested. There's my other stack of foam. That uh, is actually 10 feet in height there. That uh, pile goes right down to the floor. And I've already started cutting some here. And there are some uh, 6 inch wide uh, by 3 inch by 8 feet long uh, beams these are mainly the structure will be made uh, like that and basically there's going to be uh, some glass here with um, polyester resin which is also known as fiberglass resin and uh, that's how the main uh, structure uh, is going to be held together basically a uh, foam sandwich core construction uh, this is all my own design It'll be uh, a catamaran style, meaning it's not a monohull boat. It'll be a multi-hull boat, so two pontoons basically, if you want. And uh, I think that's about it that I can give you for now. And what I'll do is, uh, as every stages of the uh, work, I'll be doing a new video to show you each step of the way how it all works. So this is actually three inch urethane foam, like I said and this is used in the roofing industry <coughs> I bought this used uh, because it's really expensive new a 4x8 sheet of this stuff is probably about $60 new and uh, or around there and I got them for about uh, $16 a sheet and they're in pretty good shape and uh, I cut off what the bad stuff that you know is chipped or whatever so that's what I'm going to be working on for uh, the next uh, four months, five months. So you'll see the progress as it goes. And I'll show you each step of the way how I've uh, designed this and thought about it. And uh, I guess that's about it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.
So here I have all my uh, foam cut into strips. So that's basically the three inch thick foam. And then this is six inches wide here. And these strips are eight feet long. And I have a pile there of them. And it goes all the way up to the ceiling of this garage. So I got about a 10 foot high pile there by four feet uh, wide. <coughs> now, that's going to be for the walls of the pontoon and, um, and for the floor and roof of the pontoon. And then I've got some more foam here cut and this uh, is cut into two foot uh, squares. So three inches thick as well by two foot squares. <coughs> and what I do with these squares is um, Here's one of them right now, is I put some glue, there's a glue adhesive and what I'm using is actual, uh, actually a vinyl glue and uh, vinyl uh, flooring glue because it's uh, very very tacky stuff. Got a little bit of a sample here and it, it just stretches out and stays like really kind of gummy and sticky. I was going to use actually urethane foam and I did experiments and uh, the, it wasn't working out with the urethane foam because uh, it's not warm enough actually <coughs> to, uh, for the foam to expand so it was just staying flat and not expanding and that would cost a fortune. So I had to come up with a better adhesive and that's the solution. So what I do is uh, with a notch trowel, uh, that's a, um, I think, let me see here, that's a 1 8 by 1 8 uh, notch trowel and I spread the adhesive uh, nicely over this surface here and then I take another piece of foam and I stick that over it so now two uh, three inch uh, foams are stuck together and that gives me a six inch uh, two feet by two feet by six inch thick uh, square of foam and then the next step is I've got all this nice uh, Luan uh, plywood here that I purchased and that's supposed to be like some close something close to a quarter inch but it's not a quarter inch thick it's actually uh, 5.2 millimeters and uh, that's a nice uh, three ply and uh, it's pretty uh, pretty strong stuff and so basically again I put my adhesive on the six inch uh, thick uh, foam and then I stick this uh, Luan plywood on it and then the next step is again uh, put more adhesive on this surface and two more pieces of uh, six inch two foot square uh, pieces. So what these are are actually pontoons. And then I built a box here. <clears throat> and this box is uh, made very very square <clears throat> and it's to accommodate all these uh, pieces of foam. So here you see you've got a plywood and then we've got three inch, three inch, so we got a six inch piece section here and then another plywood and on and on and on. So every six inches there's a plywood uh, piece there. Uh, this here, that gap is only because uh, so there's some minor defects uh, when they manufacture these uh, uh, urethane foam sheets and sometimes there's a line it just happened to hit right there but it's all uh, glued very well uh, at other locations and it, uh, so what these are here uh, is a belt system to put this whole eight foot container under tension so with these cam uh, uh, belts here this is super tension now and uh, got this piece here going across and that's why you see these slots here so that this can actually slide that way when I put it under compression. So here's a whole block that is um, about close to seven feet yeah because the box is about eight feet and uh, that block will be used uh, as a pontoon structure so that's, I take the uh, straps off on this uh, box and the idea with this box is to keep the foam uh, in a very very straight 
line, you know, as you see, it's uh, pretty, pretty straight. These uh, imperfections don't matter because actually I'm going to be cutting the uh, sides of it and making round corners. So I keep the imperfections on the top because uh, you'll see later on uh, I'll be making round corners. These pieces on the side of the box are to reinforce, or like a beam, to prevent the uh, wood here, which is just particle board, 5 8 melamine, to prevent it from going this way. And I just uh, nail that together with a, uh, with a nailer. A lot of nails. Got two uh, thicknesses on the ends. And uh, the bottom has got a piece as well there, obviously. So the, and everything is like made super straight and super s square. And so this is what an end result is of a block that comes out of the uh, mold. And we, and then what I do is I've made a really big sanding block. Here's a 22 inch sanding block that I made that's four inches wide. And at the end after I just sand the top just really nicely, just get that wood and foam just perfectly flat. Because over on top of this, again, I'm gonna be gluing some more of that uh, Luan plywood. And I just wanna make sure that you know, surface area is everything when you're doing this kind of sandwich foam construction. So again, I'll be having the Liwan uh, sandwich on all the dimensions of this uh, cube. So there you're looking at a seven foot cube and uh, or maybe about six feet and a half. And what I do is I have another section of it and then I just merge it together and with more straps, I put it under pressure and uh, then I've got now a, uh, you know, about a 14, uh, uh, 14 to 15 foot uh, long structure. So my pontoons on the boat are actually going to be um, 28 feet long when they're finished. So, uh, and then I've got a form here. This is the front and the back of the uh, uh, boat is going to be, uh, of the uh, pontoon, sorry, are going to be. So this is cut for uh, creating a bit of a hydrofoil for the front for the water to start separating to the two feet. So that's two feet long as well and just having a nice curve here. So the, the, the front end and the back end of the uh, pontoons will have that shape there that you see. And uh, that's going to be just cut into the foam and I just carved the foam basically with uh, a, ba a big belt sander. And uh, that'll give me that uh, shape. And that's just a jig there just so that I can make my marks and follow that uh, shape. So that's where I'm at about at this point now. And uh, I think what I'll do now is I'll post this video. I got uh, some more stacks here of these that are glued here are ready to go. So these are all really tough stuff. Once that uh, stuff is glued together, it's got you know a lot of strength to it. And mostly, once I close that up with this surface now with the uh, Luan uh, or the plywood, that again becomes really really strong. And I put, you know, six foot, uh, uh, six inch here, you know, these, these beams that I'm using. And they're, uh, they're there to reinforce in case there is a, you know, an impact or something. And like I said, I'm going to have these, uh, the corners of the section of the pontoons that goes in the, into the water is going to be rounded. So I'm going to be taking a PVC pipe and cutting it a four inch PVC pipe, cutting it in four sections, and then carving uh, into the pontoons here that same shape with the router and all that, and then gluing the uh, PVC corner. Now after, once I've got all this plywood uh, covered uh, over this, uh, these pontoons, then I've got a whole bunch of cloth. Got big rolls here of cloth. And that's a nice uh, thick, uh, about uh, 
That would be an equivalent maybe of out of a 10, oh, maybe even more, maybe oh, maybe like a 20 ounce uh, thick cloth for um, fiberglass. But this is not a real fiberglass cloth. It's actually a landscape cloth. And uh, I'm not looking for super strength. I just need something that's going to hold the polyester resin or the fiberglass resin. Some others, peop some others call it that way. Um, so that's three feet wide by 300 feet long these rolls. So once all this is all covered with the uh, plywood, uh, then I'm going to pull out that cloth over on top of it and it's obviously going to go around that round nice corner here. And uh, then it's going to be all covered with the polyester resin, the fiberglass resin, for the waterproofing. So the fiberglass is mainly going to be just for waterproofing. My strength and all that is all in these uh, plywoods that are all sandwiched. And in the uh, floor that goes on top of this pontoon and the other pontoon, uh, which is up to eight feet wide, inside dimension, are going to be made from those uh, six inch by uh, three inch thick by eight feet long pieces. And they're going to actually have a piece of plywood like this uh, glued into it, sandwiched in between, but at every three inches. So twice, uh, again, the amount of beams that this is going to have just to make the structure very strong. And uh, the walls that go on top of that, basically it'll be a three inch thick wall. So that piece of foam will go, instead of going like this for the floor, up six inches this way, the walls, the, the pieces will be this way. And then I've got three inch strips of uh, plywood. So every six inches the walls will have that. And then the roof again is going to be the same like the uh, floor. So the six inch is going to be standing up and then uh, plywood at every three inches. And then all that gets covered with this plywood, which I've got a whole stack of it here. And here you can see some of my uh, three inch uh, widths that are already cut. And then this rest of the plywood is for doing the floor and the ceiling and uh, walls and here I've got a whole pile right back there these are all my six inch uh, strips they're already cut so got lots of that already done so I've got lots of my cutting done and uh, anyways this is an uh, interesting program floors and pontoons and all that so I uh, hope you have some more updates as this continues thanks bye Okay, so here is the uh, box to do the uh, pontoon moles for the two by two uh, foot uh, foam pieces and plywood. And this is it empty now. I took the blocks out and uh, I cleaned it up as well. You want to make sure that you don't have any uh, of that uh, glue left on there because then you'd have a hard time getting the uh, mold out. But it's pretty clean. It's just a little spot here and there I got to clean. So that's how the box is made. It's got those two strips on each side and those two strips on each side is for this compression board here that's got these uh, uh, two by threes here going across it and there's two uh, layers thick here five eighths uh, melamine and that's when the belts get uh, tied to that and then I put the whole thing under compression and I leave that for 24 hours for uh, everything to get you know glued and uh, the chance for the glue to uh, cure a bit uh, in that period of time. So uh, what I'll do now is I'll do uh, some spreading of the glue and show you that process. So this is the, uh, the glue adhesive and I take a scoop of that stuff, throw it on my uh, plywood there and with the trowel I just spread this out and the trowel is a notch trowel, so it makes all these lines here, and it's probably going to give you an interesting effect on the video, but kinds of lines because of the interlacing. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to spread it over, and I'm trying to do this with one hand here and try not get myself. And then I just put that over that foam, and everything is cut 
pretty well identical same size and uh, there so this end here because I got my adhesive that might just start bleeding out doesn't really matter because this piece now is going to go inside my box so these pretty tight fit and there you go there's my first piece put in there and so we've got our first quarter inch piece of uh, plywood or uh, 5.2 millimeter and uh, our first three inch and then I put adhesive on another piece of three inch and put that over that so I'll go ahead and do that now so same process put a blob on there I'm used to how much I need and this is the felt side uh, this foam here has a kind of a paper uh, felt fiber uh, reinforcement on each side of this uh, and uh, then again I do the same kind of thing as I was doing on the wood and uh, working on the felt the felt just picks up a lot more more well a little more adhesive so you've got to also you know be uh, working with that uh, situation so I'm gonna finish this off uh, with my two hands without holding the camera and I'll show you what it uh, looks like here alright so there you go that's done and again I left just a little bit of space all around there except just right up, right up to the top here and now this piece goes into the box and I'd actually gonna have to sorry you're not seeing what's going on there and there it goes it fits very tightly into the box there is no play or nothing and then that presses right against that piece so you might see there's dimples and things like that on the surface of these uh, pieces of foam I'm putting in there the, re the reason why is this is reclaimed foam that I've actually purchased because buying it new is just ridiculously expensive and it's just I couldn't build this project uh, it's all being done on a really shoestring budget and uh, anyway so what that is is actually uh, gravel because this was used on a flat uh, roof uh, kind of a flat tar roof and gravel combination this is insulation foam that was uh, under there that was salvaged from a project that they had to redo and they sold this foam for I got it for about fifteen dollars a four by eight sheet by a three inch thick and that's very cheap compared to what it would cost uh, for it being new uh, so basically uh, I'm using with a side that has all these little bit of dimples which was when the workers would wor walk on it and the crushed stone would actually push into the uh, foam but the other uh, inside side is perfect so what I do is I two, use the two inside sides uh, that are perfectly uh, manufactured and flat and they're the ones that are glued together and then the side that's got the crushed stone is uh, or the dimples or the holes or little breaks is the side that I put the plywood on so <clears throat> basically I don't spread my adhesive on this side because it would just eat up so much adhesive I spread it on the nice surfaces so we got one nice surface that I had to spread it on which contacts the other nice surface and then this side and then the other side the next piece of foam I'm gonna spread that only on the piece of plywood which is nice and clean so basically the adhesive will only be contacting the high areas or the flat areas if you want it won't be filling up these cavities so that's what happens this whole box gets filled up like this step by step it's uh, fairly fast it takes me about two hours to fill up this box and uh, then it becomes a block so that's the process for making the uh, pontoons or the basic steps for making the pontoons and uh, then the next steps will be also making some kind of a box for uh, putting the uh, floor and roof and uh, walls uh, together uh, to put them under compression as well once they're, uh, they are glued. So that's uh, about all for now and uh, I will post this video and uh, thanks for watching.